Hey Mark, how's it going? This is Honda with Southtown Chrysler. Just want to send you a little walk around video. This is going to be on the 2016 Range Rover Evoque. Uh, really, really nice car. Obviously very peppy, lots of power in this thing. Uh, but if you notice, the body's in really, really nice shape. So the windshield as well, no chips, no cracks, just so you have an idea. Looks like it's got a camera underneath there. You got the parking sensors. I like the two-tone on this one as well. The red interior obviously is very flashy. So you got some nice upgraded tires. This one is currently sitting, I believe, on some nice Pirelli Scorpion winter tires. Uh, it does have your nice kind of multi-spoke black rims. Definitely have some tread on there as well. I mean, the back really looks hot on this one too. So this is obviously gonna be the turbo four cylinder. I believe it's a two liter. Uh, very peppy again, and you'll see that on my short test drive. Dual exhaust underneath. You got this really nice kind of gloss black, parking sensors in the back as well, backup camera. Um, now this one particularly has the power tailgate. This looks like, oh, I think this is just a piece from the inside there. Um, but it does have a spare tire. You can fold that second row flat. Nice little privacy cover as well and a little 12 volt for you as well. Now this one does have the blind spot assist just so you have an idea. And again, on this line too, I'm not really picking out any dents or dings to be honest. And you obviously got those nice HID headlights on this one with the daytime. Here's the nice interior. Obviously, just know that, you know, this vehicle would get another detail. It is decently clean, but they actually do a quick clean on it for the lot just because we definitely do end up showing these very, very quickly. Super nice sound system. This has got the Meridian. Very, very nice sound system. This thing definitely has some power. The nice thing is, is the leather's in good shape. There's no rips, no tears. Few little small scuffs here and there, which you will find on this kind of a lighter color. Um, leather on the dash, leather on the doors. Really, there's like leather almost all the way through, just except for this portion right here. So lots of nice luxury touches. And just so you know, this is actually, it actually is almost like a metallic black. Alrighty. Now this has the three position driver memory and the passenger memory, by the way, which is crazy. Um, and we do have power seats again on both sides. Now you'll find a little bit of small wear, just to, again, on the, the red part of the seat here. Okay, so we are sitting at, it does have automatic lights, heads up display, which I really hope is showing on the camera there with the speedometer. There we go. Um, now this one particularly does have obviously your cruise control, heated steering wheel, heated seats. Um, it does also have your lane keeping assist and it does have the navigation as well, okay? Now obviously I kind of want to give you a little bit of an idea of how the radio sounds in this thing. Pretty decent sound system already. Speakers all over the place. Now it definitely sounds like it's got quite a bit of clarity. And it's only about halfway. Really, really cool. Now this does also have your electronic gear shifter. I believe the plastic is still on this one. There is your backup camera, electronic parking brake. This does obviously have your uh, dual zone climate, your automatic start stop, which, which will kill the engine uh, at the stoplight, but all your accessories, your air conditioning, everything else will work. This is amazing. I love their panoramic roofs. Hill descent control, obviously your traction control. We do have just a little bit of a extension there. Now we do have our different terrain modes, okay? So we have our dynamic, we have our, um, what is this? This is gonna be just normal. Then we have our grass, gravel, snow. We have our mud ruts, sand. Very cool. 
So that's definitely give you some assurance when you're on the road. Now it does also have the sport mode too, just so you have an idea. And it is a manual adjustment, just so you know, on the tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And this has 110,390K. You can program three garage doors right here. And the AC, I just wanted to let you know, I have been trying it out. It is ice cold, okay? So I just turn that down. All righty. So it's definitely, drives really nice. I mean, one thing I will say is this thing is definitely pretty nimble. Even the brakes feel very tight. Obviously, I'm not hearing any weird noises on the suspension. Sorry, that's just my seatbelt warning. I'm just doing this one-handed. I thought I'd do it quick and then go do the second one on the Gladiator. One thing I do like too is this one does have the digital uh, kind of kilometers and speedometer up there on the dash too. Uh, it does also tell you the speed limits, just so you know, so I can recognize any speed limit cameras um, because of the lane keeping assist, okay? Right. Now, one thing, obviously, with this kind of a vehicle, you just got to kind of watch out for is when it comes to maintenance. That's going to be next, by the way. All righty. Let me park this. All right. All right, Mark, I really hope you like the walk around video, my friend. Hundo here, 780-932-7597.